So I'm Sarim Khan, I study in 5th standard and today I'm back to my topic and that is a question that is for JEE main. So today our question is asking to us, okay, our question is asking to us that the rate of change of displacement gives velocity. Later, a particle starts from origin with velocity v equals to at squared plus bt plus c. Now, find displacement of the particle at t equals to t naught. So this is our question. So and options have been given to us for displacement at time t equals to t naught. So a option is at naught u by 3 plus bt naught u squared by 2 plus ct naught. B is at naught q plus bt naught squared plus ct naught. C is at naught u by 2 plus bt naught squared by 3 plus ct naught and d is at naught plus b. So here our options are given to us. So we have to solve it. So first of all from here will be beginning our solution. Okay, so first of all, what we have to write here? So first of all, solution in solution, first of all, what is given? That the rate of change of displacement gives velocity, okay? Rate of change of displacement gives velocity. This we have to write, then what we can write finally? Velocity equals to, okay, s by t, but ds by dt, actually it is ds by dt. Why ds by dt? Because here rate of change, whenever there is rate of change of anything, just like rate of change of y with respect to s is dy by dx, so like this rate of change of displacement okay with respect to t is ds by dt okay and no need to say with respect to t because always rate of change of displacement is velocity finally we can find out that there will be included time that is rate of change so ds by dt and here and this d by dt will be operating over s that is our displacement okay so only just like if any okay just like s value has been given to us only and we have to find the value of v so later first of all d is fine letter dt fine and letter divide them that method is not only we have to differentiate this okay s will be differentiating with respect to t okay only what we have to do whatever value of s is given just write okay d bracket that value divided by dt letter will differentiate that and the answer will come that's velocity so what is velocity d is by dt okay this has been given now what is the value of v okay velocity value is already given at square plus bt plus c which is equals to what? at square plus bt plus c. Okay, velocity value is already given. Okay, this v equals to at square plus bt plus c implies that the ds by dt is also equals to at square plus bt plus c. This has been given, but we have to find out the value of displacement. That's the main point okay velocity is given okay now here time at time t equals to t naught okay t equals to t naught we have to find the displacement of the particle okay not okay then through this equation what we can write implies that cross multiplication will be done ds is equals to v dot dt okay finally what we are getting that ds is equals to v dot dt but we have to find the value of s remember we have to find the value of s not ds okay so what will be doing so that we have to find so that we'll be getting value of x okay not ds so only what we have to do if you have studied calculus means differentiation and integration so you know that here we'll be integrating this and here also so while we'll be integrating to ds then we'll be getting value of s so here if we are integrating this side then we'll have to also integrate this side. now limits we have to choose okay limits we'll have to choose so for choosing the limits okay just like okay imagine time equals to t equals to zero just like with respect to dt it is getting integrated so at time t equals to zero okay at time t equals to zero just like displacement is zero okay because here why it is zero because it is given a particle starts from origin it is starting from origin this a first at time t equals to zero displacement was zero and let time be t naught okay just like here it has been given to us find the displacement of the particle at time t equals to t naught so at t equals to t naught let it cover as displacement okay so here it has been given to us okay so limits we have put s is equals to zero to s and here t equals to zero to t equals to t naught this has been given to us so only what we have to do which is equals to what okay which is equals to now here ds so s equals to zero so when will be integrating this 
then just like this we can put here dss okay so now dss now what is s equals to 0 0 to s which is equals to now 0 to s now which is equals to what here okay here our brackets we can put v dot dt now here 0 to t naught okay this has been given to us now this will be writing so s minus 0 0 okay s value at the place of ds will be putting so here at the place of ds what will be putting s s minus 0 is 0 so need, need, no need to write s is equals to v dot dt okay so only at the place of v okay and just like when we'll be putting this equation of v in this so at the place remember at the place of what at the place of our t will okay will be putting t naught so s is equals to so just let us put this equation a t square plus b t okay now plus b t plus c now minus zero but not only this okay not only this we have already integrated this just like we have of course integrated this so from here okay just like from here this will be removed and q will come divided by 3 square divided by 2 why it has become sir just like finally we are writing our final equation so implies that s is equals to 80 uh, first let me write here divide 80 cube divided by 3 plus bt square divided by 2 plus ct okay not here nots will be put not only t okay nots will be also put here what we have to put okay ct naught why not because here it has been given to us at time t equals to t naught so here s is at the place of t will be putting t naught so s is equals to 80 cube divided by 3 80 naught cube divided by 3 plus bt naught is square divided by 2 plus ct naught but how it came only what we have done here that at the place so just like this so much we have understood because at the place of ds will be putting s s minus 0 is s house then s is equals to now at the place of t will be putting t naught so here so first of all we know it is integrated so power will increase and same number will also come in denominator so at t naught so here we have finally final as for we are getting at s is equals to a t naught cube divided by 3 plus b t naught is square divided by 2 plus c t naught now we have to check whether in options it is present or not since we know it is present in first option first option is at naught cube divided by 3 plus bt naught square divided by 2 plus ct naught so here final answer also same thing we are getting so finally implies that first is the correct option so finally what we are getting that option a this at naught cube divided by 3 plus bt naught square divided by 2 plus ct naught is our correct option means option a is the correct option or the correct answer so this was my today's topic thank you